guys, it's Wendy here with In Focus Prints, and today I am going to be planning for the week of May 21st through May 27th. And the kit that I have pulled out is called Sunflowers, and it is by Shepherd Supply Company or Co. And these are the full checklist, which I think I'm probably going to hold on and use these in my traveler's notebook. I'm not sure yet. And then these are the washi. I love this washi bottom washi here are the sidebar stickers and half boxes and quarter boxes our full um, decorative boxes says stand tall and follow the sun then we have our date covers our checklist some icons and then we have our littles and our headers so I do want to pull out some date dots um, for um, this week. Let me see what I have um, for the 21st through the 27th. Okay, these will work. Oh, let's see if these will work. No. Um, so we will use those. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the numbers down there so um, they'll be all ready to go. Um, I really haven't done a whole lot this week, guys, and I do apologize. My intent was to vlog while I was on vacation, and the camera that I took just did not... Um, cooperate and so I just couldn't I could have used my camera um, but I just didn't feel like it would um, work as well as what I wanted um, so we just kind of bypassed it but I will say we had an awesome time in Memphis and I want to do a quick shout out to Memphis Mandy Sue who recommended a place to eat and it was absolutely wonderful so we've got all of this and we need our bottom washi and our headers so we're going to start with this um, let's get our bottom washi down first um, Mandy Sue uh, Memphis Mandy Sue recommended um, the barbecue shop on Madison and oh my goodness it was really really good and another place that was recommended to me by a co-worker um, was Gus's world-famous fried chicken and I'm going to tell you we ate that the first night we were there it was close by the motel we stayed at, so it was quick, um, just walk to go and eat, and it was it was the best fried chicken I think I have ever had. And um, so, if you're ever in Memphis, give both of those places a try. The one place that we did not get to that was recommended for us because we ended up coming home a day early. Um, was rendezvous and i really really wish because i heard good things about that and um, i really wish we could have gotten to that but we just as i said we decided to come back a day early um so i think i am going to put down the headers and i kind of like this whole idea of just putting them wherever so i think that's what we're going to do is do kind of a random um, with the with the headers um, we went to oh we just did so much stuff um, I think the first day that we were there we got there on Sunday it was kind of late so we couldn't really do a whole lot um, we walked down um, to eat and um then when we finished eating we walked up bill street and that was fun it was um a different experience 
and um, it, it was just a lot of fun. And let's go back to here. The next day we got up, we actually went to the Memphis Zoo, and my mom has never been to a zoo. So I really wanted to make sure we got that in, which is why we went and did that. Um, one of the first things that we did. And um, she really, really enjoyed it. And it was a wonderful zoo. And it was so hot. Guys, I live in the South. I get hot. Oh my God, it was hot. Um, somebody we saw said that it was a, a heat wave that had come through an unusually whoop, warm heat wave um, that had come through and I'm gonna tell you guys it was hot um, but we tried to do as much stuff as we could that was gonna be outside um, later when it was a little cooler and more bearable so that is what we did. And then on Tuesday, we went to Graceland. Um, that was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed that. And we were there most of the morning. Well, our tour didn't start till um, 12. We got there about um, quarter after 11 because it's said to get there early. And um, so they went ahead and took us in and got us started on the tour and it was absolutely wonderful I don't know what I had in my mind that um, it would be um, but it was really an interesting um, take on Elvis and I really enjoyed it um, I think one of the biggest takeaways and I was warned ahead of time when I before we were going that in today's standard of housing for someone of Elvis's caliber his house was not very big and it honestly was like just an ordinary person's house is the way I would describe it and um, I think that was why I um, I enjoyed it so much because he was such a big star and um, he didn't his home did not reflect that is what I'm trying to say it was it was smaller in um, in size. It was still amazing, and um, we learned that why it was named Graceland. I just assumed that was a name that um, he picked, but it was not. It was actually named before he bought the house. So he bought the house from someone else. And it was interesting because a doctor and his wife had bought it for and gave it to, I don't remember if it was their cousin or aunt, but anyway, they gave the house to her and her name was Grace. And so the house became named Graceland. And um, that is how Graceland got its name. And I thought that was quite interesting. That was a fact that I did not know. And um, it was interesting to see. I think my, f <laughs> my favorite part, and you guys will probably see this because I will scrapbook um, my um, Memphis trip. Um, one of the things that stuck out in my mind was that the kitchen, because everything is just like it was, um, when Elvis died so it was made has been maintained and nothing has been updated so it's just the way it was when he lived there and um, the thing for me in the kitchen was number one 
the size of the microwave. And then number two was that there was carpeting in the kitchen. All that ran through my mind was how many times do you spill milk or drop an egg or spill something on your kitchen floor? I, I just couldn't get past that. I was like, what were they thinking? But it was very interesting. And um, some of the features I thought it were it was very cool. One of the things that I did like was in the pool room, I heard somebody um, commenting that was on the tour ahead of us, and they were quite amazed that um, this treatment had been done, and it was fabric that was gathered and put on the wall, kind of like pleated, kind of. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it was kind of like the material was gathered or puckered, I don't know. But anyway, it was like a treatment on the walls and um, then in, it went up the walls onto the ceiling and gathered in the center of the ceiling. And I know it sounds gaudy and all that, but it's really amazing and pretty actually. And um, they were commenting, how did they ever get the idea, blah, blah, blah. And I looked at my son and I said, and my mom, because my mom has been with us to um, the Biltmore Mansion in Ashboro, Asheville. And um, I said, that's just like the women's dining room at Ashboro. And I kind of wonder, did he go and see that treatment um, on the walls at Ashboro? I keep saying Ashboro, but it's Asheville, North Carolina. Okay, so on here... I'm looking for my scissors because I'm going to cut down the um, the um, thingamajiggies, the flags, and do three. And I love this because the little checks are sunflowers. And we don't have orange, and I'm looking to see what extra color we have. I'm going to use green because, obviously, I only have one green header, so this should be the color to take its place. Um, it just kind of brought up for me some thoughts that I, you know... I, I remember when Elvis died. I was a young kid, probably um, 10, 12 years old, I guess. So I do remember when Elvis died. And um, I actually remember where I was when I heard that he had died. And um, so... So for me, there was a lot of things that I really just, you know, I, I knew of Elvis and I knew it was a big deal, that kind of thing. Um, but I really just, I was at an age that it really didn't concern me, I guess is the, you know, he was just way out of my league as far as thinking of, you knew him as a person that I would know. And so... Going there, it kind of um, made me think, like, you know, how old was Lisa Marie when Priscilla and Elvis divorced? And um, how many years between did um, Elvis pass? And, you know, those kind of things. So I'm going to be looking for a book on Amazon about Elvis because there were some things that I was like you know I should know this because you know he was alive during my time so it has spurred, spurred me to want to learn a little more about him it was interesting seeing it through my mom's eyes um, cause she grew up with Elvis and um, as she pointed out, he was just a few years older than her. <laughs> so, it's, it was kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, you know what I just 
did. I was talking, not paying any attention. Okay, so we got to fix this. Okay. Stuff to do. See, I get to talking. And I think part of it is, I'm going to be honest with you guys, we just got home from Memphis and I am so tired. But I haven't planned this week because I did it prior to leaving so for me it feels like I haven't planned and so I was like I'm gonna sit down and plan out next week because I really feel the need to get this done so I am so tired and I'm not paying attention okay so that one's right let me get this one And again, when I start talking, sometimes I just forget what I'm doing. So it was it was interesting seeing it through my mom's eyes. It really, truly was. And I think she expected it to be more. And I am going to put Stand Tall and Follow the Sun. Go ahead and I think I'm just going to kind of put these in the same order. I want this one to go here though. I want it to be kind of in the middle because this is like one of my favorite ones. Okay. And let's start over here. But my mom, she kept saying, it's not a very big house. And I, she said he he really, and then she, okay, you guys have to keep in mind that my mom has Alzheimer's too. And she just said, you know, he had an awful lot of money to do whatever he wanted to. And I was like, yeah, but it's not the degree that... Um, people do now and um so i think that was the the thing for my mom it seemed like a you know like a big house and a lot and i think it comes from the era in which she grew up and um i think in my era we see um you know people the stars and stuff they have huge houses and they have you know if you can think it they've got it and so that's not the era era I say that funny but anyway era in which my mom grew up so for my mom to look at it it was like oh my gosh look at all this and look at this house and and it was like yeah but mom it's not the standard of what somebody that would be Elvis today and so it was kind of funny to see my take and her take. So it was very, very interesting. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is um, I've got so much stuff I need to do this week. And I think what I'm going to do is um, use my stuff to clean because guys um i know i talked about it a little bit last week um that when i got home i was going to um list my home for sale and that is still my goal and my brother has been here painting he's still got a little bit left to do downstairs and um let's see let me get my other, what did I just, there it is. I, I'm too tired to be doing this. Um, stuff to clean and then um, I think I'm going to do little things because there's going to be a lot of little things, loose things that I need to get done. There's a lot of things that I need to get cleaned because I'm hoping by the end of this month 
I will have the realtor out and I will have um, my house listed. So there we go. I want to put down um, a half box, I believe, to um, list my stats. So I think I want to use, um, I think I want to use a solid box for that. And I think I'm going to use this week. There. So there we go. And then I think for the week I am going to do my daily, um, the little, under little things, I'm going to do my meal planning um, because I honestly don't know what I'm going to do this week for meals because we canceled, um, we didn't cancel, we just um, did not receive. We um, decided not to get this week's because we knew it would come in while we were gone and we wouldn't be here so we just postponed this box and we're not getting this past this this week's box so that would have come this week for this coming week for plated so I don't know what we're going to do for um, meals this week so I'm just going to put these down um, and I will fill those out um, as we figure that out um, little things so my mom did um, okay kinda we noticed um, um, the longer we were there, and I think it was because she was out of her element, um, and there was things that she was not in routine with. I think that might have been part of it. Um, she had a hard time making decisions, and so that is concerning to me. But... Um, I think all in all, she really did well on the trip. And I really think she had a good time. I'm looking to see if there's anything else I can use right this moment. I'm going to use this cup of coffee for Monday because I got a lot of stuff to get done on Monday. And I'm going to need my coffee. And one of those things is I'm looking for my doctor's appointments. Um, I'm going to the doctor with my son. So I want to list that down here. And let's see what else. I've got um, a lot of things that I am going to be doing on Monday that's related to um, the Etsy shop and that kind of thing. So I think I'm just gonna put, um, I think I'm just going to put a box down here and put shop stuff. Cause it's a lot of stuff that I want to do and get ready. So we'll just put that and we're gonna leave that. Actually, I think I have um, some Etsy stickers. I do. I want to use one of those. And that is going to be to get my Etsy shop ready to open. So there we go. Um, a lot of stuff I am um, I don't have a lot of stuff pre-planned but um, that is because I really don't know what all I'm going to have this week to do. So one of the things I want to do is I've started back reading and I want to put my little girl here as a reminder that I'm probably going to need another book by Tuesday and hopefully 
maybe I finish the book that I'm on this weekend and I have another book bought in this one so I kind of catch up on my reading um the other thing that I want to do is I'm going to put a little box down and I'm going to put it here because I want it to be part of this stuff to do list I'm going to put that there I'm going to grab and the Etsy sticker I did not tell you was by my sweet honeybee shop and my girl is from Grin and Barrett and I've got um, a cleaning bucket from sweet honeybee shop and I am going to put this here because my goal is to get everything done um, my brother has finished upstairs, so now it is buckle down and get everything done upstairs. And then on Wednesday, um, let's see what I've got. I want to start on my downstairs. Um, as I was saying, we are going to list the house. So... Um, I, my goal for the year was just to get the upstairs organized and that has changed so one of the things that's going to go on is I am going to vacuum and clean downstairs um, as my brother finishes a room I am going to do that room so that is my goal on Thursday is my trash day let me see if i've got any trash icons i did not look and i do not have a trash icon but i know i've got some in here oops wrong one I'm totally confused as to where, to where my stuff is. I should have postponed doing my stuff today, but I really wanted to get to it. I'm just going to use the, um, it's kind of like an outline. It's like a white with um, gray, and that's going to be my trash can. And I am going to put down a half box for that. We're going to do the trash can and then I pulled out my kitty litter and then I'm also going to change the sheets on Monday and I did not put that down so I am going to put that right there because I want to get those changed and then, let's see, it's also payday. So we want to put that down. And then on Friday, um, Oh, that's when my plated comes. And I pulled out um, an icon for that. Pretty sure I did. Maybe I did not. I did. It's my Fox and Pip. And these are called Diet Spoon, but I like to use them for my plated. 
So on Friday, that comes in. So we'll put her down here. And that's about all I've got ready for Friday. Um, then on Saturday, um, I've got a couple things that I want to do. One of them is I want to go ahead and get my filming done. Um, so I think I am going to use this solid half box. And I am going to grab, let's see, did I pull out, I did not pull out a planner one. Oh yes, I did. And this is from Fox and Pip. So we're going to use um, the big planner. And then I want to do, I want to finish cleaning the house. Um, that's going to be a recurrent theme this week for me um, because I don't really have, but let's see, this week and then I have through this week. So I've got a week and a half um, if I want to get my house listed um, this week or this month. So down here, I am going to put my flag, and I am going to put my clean. Because I want to get all of that done on Saturday. Then Sunday is going to be laundry, and I have this on my sampler from... Um, Fox and Pip, and I thought I want to use my laundry. So we're going to put that across here. I've not used that one yet, and I've just been waiting. So I'm going to use that today. And then, um, oh, let me put down my weekend banner before I forget. There we go. Um, and then that's going to be it that I'm going to plan on because I'm hoping to get everything done this week. So I think that is pretty much going to do it this week. Um, so let me get, oops, you know, the thing I did not do was put down my video. So I'm hoping to have a video up on Monday, Tuesday, Friday and Saturday so it'd be back to my usual and these are by Clever Gal Crafts so that is going to be it um, I have two clips that I thought would go with this clip they're not um, sunflowers but I thought they were close so these two clips are by um, K and Co XOXO so until next time guys Thank you so much for um, supporting my channel, and until next time, bye-bye.